I think one of the prerequisites to get into agri-food tech was a love of food and uh, least basic uh, knowledge of what to do in the kitchen. <laughs> Last year, world population reached 8 billion people and is expected to hit 10 billion by 2050. In order to feed the growing population, agriculture will have to produce 45% more calories and do it with less water and less available land. And in addition to that, agriculture will have to cut greenhouse gas emissions by two-thirds to positively contribute to the climate change. This is a big task for everyone involved in agriculture. And today, as a part of the episode Let's Talk Egg, I'm happy to introduce a guest, Joshua Su, who is the CEO of Grow. Hi, Josh. Hey, Alex. We're going to talk about investments in agriculture, the technologies in the industry, and the role of startups to accelerate and transform agriculture. Thanks for being here, Josh. Pleasure. Josh, I thought that we can do it over lunch today, given that we're going to talk about food security. Great I idea. hope you don't mind. Yeah, of course. And we'll have to do it ourselves. All right. I'm so, not a great uh, cook, so I trust <laughs> right. you can lead the process. Okay. All right, so let's see what shall we do. Um, I guess leafy greens, tomatoes, let's make some salad. Great idea, why not? Ready for a salad. So, Josh, tell me more about, about, about the grow. What do you guys do uh, and how you, how you address the most fundamental challenges of, of agriculture with, yeah. with the technologies you guys develop or sure. your companies develop? Sure, yeah. So Grow, um, we're a uh, startup accelerator and uh, we focus in um, impact and technology within the agriculture and food space. Um, so with, um, when we work with startups, um, we help them scale their business globally. Um, so just help them get to market a lot quicker. Um, and when we work with corporates, um, we very much help them connect with the ecosystem to find and adopt the right technologies and then determine how best to collaborate with, um, with startups. It's uh, interesting to see how these founders are taking this technology to solve some of the uh, issues or challenges and opportunities in the market. So things like um, smallholder farmer resilience, right. uh, climate smart agriculture, um, minimizing food waste, food loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's always the technology that they work on, but also what benefits they drive to uh, the consumer and also to the respective markets. All right. Well, this is yeah. very, very relevant. Indeed, agriculture in, in Asia is, um, is not easy, right? Because, because of its nature, smallholder agriculture is so, so fragmented. Yeah. It's not just about investing, but it's the strategic a value that the corporate can bring to a startup in which a lot of founders are trying to, um, to um, I guess, tap into. So I think if you can look at it from two perspectives, from the startup side, you know, what, what does a win-win collaboration look like? Um, startups are always looking for, you know, how you scale up. Mm -hmm. And if you look at agri-tech or agri-food tech, typically it's a B2B um, play, a like business model for them. And so corporates like Syngenta could potentially be <laughs> their customers. And so they're trying to basically, you know, get in front of you guys, uh, prove that their solutions can be applied in whatever crops that you're, you're looking into, whatever customers that you're servicing. So they look at you as potential customers. And so they want to actually trial and scale their solutions with you guys uh, and make sure it works. Yeah. Right? So then you've got that straight as a scale up, uh, as, a, as a customer. However, you can see it going further in terms of being a scale-up partner because you, got, you know, corporates have the reach, the network, the know-how, and so you can actually help them think through how best to scale their, um, their uh, solutions. Yeah, you have a very good point on the role of, of corporations, of large companies, and I believe we also have a role to play. Like We've been in the industry for more than 250 years, Syngenta and our legacy companies, here in Asia for almost 100 years. So, of course, we have, we have presence, we have great network, we have trust from our, from our partners. And of course, we know we can do more, right? We have, uh, we have a responsibility to do more, to, to make sure that farmers have access to knowledge financing uh, marketplaces. So yeah, it's, it's, it is indeed an opportunity. And talking about partnerships, 
uh, maybe it's now the time to finish the salad together. Yeah, that's the a real good idea. partnership. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I All don't right. know what uh, what we should do next. Yeah, so I'll, I'll finish the uh, dressing. Right. Maybe you can uh, start getting the uh, the other stuff what, ready. Shall I, shall I open oh, the yeah, cheese? That's yeah, a good idea. it would be good to open the cheese. I think it's great. I think that's it. Time to eat. Yes. <laughs> we deserve it. it. <laughs> so now we're in 2023, oh, beginning wow. of the year. Yep. How do you see the, the year, the next 12 months? Uh, what I'd like to see in this year is maybe more uh, focus and, and interest within the soil management and carbon management um, area in which we were talking about before, but also around uh, synthetic bio, uh, biology. I think that would be quite an interesting space. Um, and specifically for the Asia um, market, um, I think looking at the future of farming, you know, what that looks like. You, you started around saying around the pressures uh, that we face in the sector. Uh, there's an aging um, farmer population as well. So, I mean, if we fast forward five to ten years, I mean, who's going to be growing our food mm -hmm. uh, and how are we going to grow our food? So, I think a deeper dive into this space would be quite interesting. Yeah, I fully agree with you. If I think of you know, this year, 2023, probably short term for today, it's really critical for farmers to become more productive mm -hmm. and more resilient, yeah. again, given all the challenges they face. But talking about long term, it is, I think, fundamental for the society to acknowledge the role of farmers and to incentivize them for new, different, more sustainable agricultural practices. Mm -hmm. So they can really introduce smart, Climate smart technologies contribute to the planet, contribute to the, to the food security, but the but consumers, we will have to incentivize them to do it. So, but it's all possible. Yeah. Solutions are there. Thanks, Josh. I think it's, it's probably now time to, to dig in, to, yeah. to, 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 to eat it. Uh, <laughs> let's try. And, uh, let's see if it, let's see. The salad well, it looks great. Good. Oh, and it tastes great as well. Mm. Very good salad. Yeah, the avocados are well cut. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I hope to see you again. Uh, this is a great discussion. Yep. And, uh, well, let's continue this conversation. Yeah, and see what's uh, next on the lunch menu. Well, I'm not sure about lunch menu. I'll make sure I can order it next time. <laughs> <laughs>